Hi guys, how's it going? Today, we're not gonna use one of these manuals. We're gonna learn all about solar inverters the nice, easy way. Welcome back guys to Solar Advice, Neil here. And today, we're gonna learn all about solar inverters how to choose the right one, the different types of inverters, some of the techie stuff, but I'm gonna keep it super simple for you to understand. So the first thing we're gonna go over today is the history of solar inverters. So you may not think that you know, this is an important factor, but it's nice to see how far technology has gone from very basic stuff to very advanced stuff. So a solar system that you see today was very different compared to uh, back in the day. A lot of the components that were being used in a, an old type of system um, were just ones that were, that were bought off the shelf. So when solar panels were first developed, it did a very good job of harnessing the sun's power. The only problem with that was that it was DC power. And of course, today we use AC power. So the one problem that electrical engineers faced was to obviously convert that DC power to AC power. So inverters have been around for a long time and they make up a lot of other appliances on the market and in other applications. So when the first solar system was created, it had several bits and pieces and one of them being the inverter. So solar systems in its infancy worked pretty well. But what happened later on is that people wanted new features. So as the solar system grew, the need for storing energy uh, came about, so, which was in the, in the form of solar batteries. But you couldn't just go and charge your solar batteries, well, normal just car batteries really back in those days. Uh, so you needed another component to help with that job. Thus came the solar charge controller. So as you can imagine, it was a very complex system with a lot of components involved. Now, unless you had a degree in electric engineering, I don't know about you, but I couldn't put something like that together. It was a big need to try and make it more modular and more synchronous as well. So that in mind, here's a perfect example of a modern day solar inverter. This is a great example of an off-grid inverter. And as the name suggests, you use it off-grid. And now you might be familiar with this inverter because it's very popular in the household. So this is not the only type of inverter that you get. So we have three main types of solar inverters, the off-grid that you saw earlier, the hybrid inverter, and also the grid tie inverter, which we don't currently have one here in the studio. So the hybrid inverter, just like the off-grid inverter, it has a lot of the same components in there, but it has a whole lot of other features. Specifically, it is a IP65 rated, which means that you can mount this outside under a cover. It has two MPPTs, uh, something that we'll cover in a later video. It also has a heat sink on the back. And what this does, it helps keep the inverter cool without having too many fans. So it's not as loud as your typical off-grid inverter. Now with a hybrid inverter, typically in modern hybrid inverters, a true hybrid as they would say in the industry, is that they blend energy sources together. So if you have a solar array batteries and actual grid coming in, it will start blending those energies together to power the loads in your house. Lastly, the grid tie inverter. Now, as the name suggests, it needs to be tied to the grid in order for it to work. And it's a great inverter for commercial purposes when they need to use energy during the day. And you can still use them in the household too. The downfall of these inverters is that it's not compatible with batteries. So when the sun goes down, you will just simply switch over to grid. So now you have a, a basic understanding of the different types of inverters. You should have a good idea of which type of inverter would be good for your application. If you want to know more about how these inverters work, click the link above. If you've got any questions, give us a comment. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Keeping solar simplified? No, it's not. It's keeping any, <laughs> all that juicy stuff. So stay tuned. No, it's not going to say tuned because we're actually in the video. <laughs> yeah. How in solar inverters work? I'm going back to the old stuff now. What am I talking about?